guys, it's Solly Joe from Push Talking Series. How is everybody today? I hope you're well. Um, tell me where you're joining us from and tell me what the weather's like because in Greece, guess what? It's snowing, yeah. So, today we are starting another little TV cabinet. I've already stuck most of the moldies on the surface. Um, and we're going to be doing some decoupage. There you go. So this wonderful, like, this is the girl with the pearl, pearl uh, uh, earring. And she is going to be part of our collection that's coming out in a couple of months. So we're going to put her right in the middle. And then we're going to do some painting. But before we do, we're just going to run through what wood you bring moldings are again. So wood you bring moldings are an applique. We have thousands and thousands of designs. So this is 2152. When they're in the hard state, they're just like wood. So you can paint these, you can stain them because this, they're, they're absorbent and you can also um, shave them and you can sand them and distress them. But the magic happens when you warm them up. Now you can use um, a heat gun, a hair dryer, or you can pop them on a griddle like I've got there. This has been on the griddle, so this is now nice and bending, so we can bend it round corners. And if I hold it in that position for long enough, it will stay in that shape. Solly finished off the front with a couple of the 2152 pediment mouldings using a good wood glue to stick them down. More mouldings were added to the feet, remember to keep them warm and bendy. Now, ideally you want to tear the edge of your decoupage. This gets rid of any straight edges and then set it over a light surface. Sorry Joe used La Magic's cotton and then placed the sealer under the paper before coming back in with another coat over the top. So, new Parisian, new Damour, these are the colours I'm thinking. We're also going to be using some Vive La Mer, which is my favourite colour. All these colours tie in with the colours on the decoupage. Obviously, we're going to be incorporating some yellow in there. We're going to be using some push chalk pastes as well. And I've also got my vintage, which is a, a dark brown. So I'm just going to start playing around with the colours. So we've done the front of her and now we're going to do the sides, we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be framing the side with would you bend mouldings and then we're going to be doing some blending and a little bit of stenciling. I've got exactly the same pieces warmed up on my griddle so that's hard and that is nice and soft. So I'm going to take that one away now, pop it on the griddle, always as I said use a very good quality wood glue and it does dry very fast so don't have to mess about with brushes it's got a nice little neat dispenser on it so that is all now securely in place and we can now start painting so we used new de Mur. New de Paris, uh, New Parisienne, which is like a a coaly dark grey colour. We've used a little bit of the Vive Le Mer, which is one of my favourite colours. So that part of the cabinet is really is darker than this side. So I'm going to start lighting all. I'm going to come in lighter here, but I do need to get my colours along here. I always like to use a pointy French tip brush because it really does help um, get the paint right into the nooks and crannies. Now, I'm not going to contend with the legs yet, we're going to do all these in the push chalk pigments. 
And I'm just going to bring my water, just a little bit of water, just misting it lightly. It just helps the paint move on the surface. Beautiful colours, aren't they? So, uh, as I'm coming up here now, I know I need to incorporate more teal. So, I'm just going to be using a little bit of the Vivid de Mer. But it's not as green as I want it. So, I'm going to bring some yellow in. I want that green tinge. So, I'm using Souffle. And I'm using the same brush. I know I shouldn't be, but I'm impatient. And there you go. You get that beautiful teal. So, I want that a little bit more greener. I'm just trying to match it up with what I did on the front. Right, I think that is just about it for the first coat of paint. So I'm going to come in with the souffle now. So I'm not going into my blended part yet. A piece there. So I'm going to come in and get it nice and misted up. Just going to come in some of the blue. So I'm done with my stippling now. I'm going to come in and I'm going to sweep blend. So can you see I'm getting this glass effect now? Right, so I'm just coming in. I've just mixed some orange here because I need it in as a highlight. I've forgotten all about that. too much and the reason I'm putting orange in here is because there is orange on the um, image at the front so I will come back in with my blues I just want to get this orange streak so back in with this brush and a bit of yellow here Blending evolves. It is a human, what did Tracy say yesterday? A living, breathing beast. And very seldomly can you come back and get exactly the same colours. No matter what paint you use, no matter how much you measure things are, because everything is happening on the brush. Right, so I'm relatively happy with that now. So I'm going to come in and do some stenciling. So coming in with my souffle. And now I can come in with some of the Rococo. And I am dulling it down a little bit. Can you see that? I'm dulling it down with the yellow. I'm going to use the Viv Vivre La Mer. Right, let's do the first reveal. Wow. So you can see, really heavy handed there. I will come back in and sand that and it will tone it down. Ta-da! Right guys, there you have it. Let's see. Let's see what it's going to look like, because obviously I'm going to uh, dry brush the mouldings. So let's see if I just dry brush them with some copper. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, just look at that guys giving the mouldings real depth now and I'm just highlighting the very peaks of the mouldings with the copper. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, look at those colours. Back on the opposite side, the 1416 mouldings make the top and the bottom of the frame. Excess glue is a good sign that your moulding is sticking properly. Now this can be cleaned with a cotton bud or a damp paintbrush. A rare moment of precision from Solly Joe. Remember to cover the entire back of the moulding in wood glue.
now the frame matches the other side, it's time to break out the La Magic paint, starting off with the yellow souffle. Blending as she goes along, Solid Joe is not only trying to match the colours on the front, but also the opposite side. Not an easy task. Let's rejoin Solid Joe as she turns her attention to the top. I'm just going to start getting some paint on the surface. So I'm just bringing my colours in now. I've got to be very careful that whilst I'm sweeping my brush across, I'm not flicking paint all over the uh, front. So a little bit of blue here. I'm keeping a close eye You'll see it when I come around the front, keeping a close eye on the colour match here. So far so good, I'm getting my colour match there. I'm going to bring some more blue in there. Right, so I'm just going to go around and have a look at this other side and see where we are over here. Right, and I had used a lot of the turquoise over there. Right, so we've got a little bit of orange here. Let me bring it in across there like that. I'm still very mindful of my colours matching up across the top. And I think we are there now. So we're going to be using our Harlequin. Put Harlequin there. Uh, I have put some glue on the back. I've just used some 3M spray mount. Repositionable adhesive. Adhesivo repositionable. And I'm going to be using, I've got to be very careful, I don't want to splash this top. I'm going to be using the magic paint, um, the arabesque color. Oh, just look at that color combo, guys. Awesome. Finishing touches. Solly is using the Blue Prussian Posh Chalk Metallic Paste alongside the Hippie Lace Stencil, creating a secret design on the side of the drawers. A little bit of wax to finish off the job, and the girl with the pearl earring is done. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.